When interpreting a NMR spectrum, you want to consider three things. Chemical shift, or where the peaks are located on the x-axis. Integration, or the height of the peaks. And splitting, which has to do with the number of peaks in one cluster. This video explains integration in greater detail. For simplicity, we will only consider proton NMR spectrum moving forward. Also, a quick reminder that the x-axis is read from right to left and chemical shifting determines where the peak appears on the x-axis. The y-axis is typically expressed relative to the reference molecule which can be seen furthest to the right on NMR spectra. The reference is usually tetramethylsilane, shortened as TMS, but we will not pay any further attention to it for this example. As already stated, the integration has to do with the relative intensity or height of the peak. This will depend on how many protons in an element share an identical chemical environment. The reason why this affects the relative intensity of the signal is that all of these protons will share the exact same chemical shift, meaning that their signals will be added to one another, since they are on the exact same location. If we further compare these groups to the NMR spectrum of ethanol, we find the same three distinct groups with a relative intensity that matches the amount of protons present in that group. But why do we sometimes have peaks that split into several peaks? Click this video to find out, which explains spin-spin splitting. 